Hi everybody, it's the Gaming Yuki once again, giving you guys episode 2 of our tutorials for Dolphin Emulator, which is responsible for allowing you to play Wii games and Nintendo GameCube games. I'm your host, Gaming Yuki, and here we go. Last episode, we took a look at the overview of the emulator itself. Now we're going to go into button inputs and how to get started with the, the input of your controller. So on my channel, I use a PS4 controller like this. You can also use a PS3, you can use a, you can use a Xbox, anything of that sort. And I actually have a PS3 controller just in case you want to see that. But most of the buttons are the same. So we'll use the PS4 controller for this example. So under the controllers tab, we're going to go ahead and click on this. And you have several options for GameCube controller. Under port 1, now keep in mind the port numbers is the control number. So for example, port 1, player 1. You have a few options for you. We have the standard controller like the PS4 controller. We have the GameCube adapter for Wii U. The steering wheel like in Mario Kart. The dance mat like in DDR. DK bongos like for Donkey Kong. The Game Boy and the, P the keyboard. For today's example, we're going to take a look at the game. We're going to take a look at the controller and click configure. And you're going to get this stuff. Under device, you put in the device of your controller. Mine is going to be D input zero wireless controller. Now keep in mind that your key computer will recognize your controller a little bit differently. But mine is the 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 input zero. Now to click to change the button of the controller, all you have to do is click on this or any of the buttons here, and then you change the button by pressing the button on your controller. For example, if I want A to be my X button, I'll gonna click on this and then press X on my controller, like this. Now you may have noticed that it is button one. Now this comes from the the way that the PS4 controller maps buttons and I'm going to have a graphic for you guys in the description below if you guys want to check that out. For B, I use square so that is button 0. For X, I usually use triangle, actually circle. And then Y is my triangle. Z, I usually put R1. And store I use options, or at least on a PS4 controller. If you're on a PS3 controller, that's the start button. Okay. Usually for the control stick, when it says hat, it actually means the directional buttons like this. Like you see here, this is the hat buttons according to PS4 controller. The, the one for the control stick, the C stick, the yellow button, on the yellow one on the GameCube, I usually use this one to the right. So as you guys can see here, if I do this, and they are called the access Z buttons. So now when it says modifier, I click it like the clicky. Now most games don't do that. They used to be okay without it. Now, when you're talking about Nintendo Wii games, though, we may have a little bit of an issue. Now, I'll talk about that when we get to the Nintendo Wii section. For tr the triggers, L and R, I decided to go with R1 and R2, as you guys can see here. Now, I believe this controller doesn't like me. So, so sometimes it doesn't want to go. But if I use my other one, I actually have two PS4 controllers to, to showcase this, just in case. That is why I have a backup. So if I do this, I have my uh, R, I have my buttons here. Now R right this, my buttons here, I have the other ones as well. If it's if it's like flashing like that, that means the button is pressing, is working. I have the control. 
and all that good stuff. Okay, so that's how you put your controller in terms of your PS4 controller. Now, you may have wondered what is the how do you put the Wii ones? We're gonna get the Nintendo Wii later because it is how you do it for the controller for the for the controller okay controller input now if you want to do keyboard before we do keyboard though I would like you for the save a profile just type in the name just press save what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to the keyboard if you want to use a keyboard now most of you want to use a controller so that it's more for controller and press close and you'll be okay to go once you select a game that you would like to play then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and play a game like that okay now you may have wondered a few other things the nunchuck of the Nintendo Wii and we're gonna get that later but for now that is it for how to input controller like a PS4 controller into your dolphin emulator if you have any questions let me know and i'll be happy to answer them next next one we're going to take a look at graphics in terms of the dolphin emulator and then later on we're going to take a look at configuration settings and then finally we're going to go into advanced material so get ready for that but for now we'll see you guys another time